Hi everyone. Today's story is Jesus Calms the Storm that you will find in the Bible in Mark chapter 4 verses 35 to 41. So we're just going to read the story together and then we'll talk about what our craft activity is for today. Jesus Calms the Storm. One day Jesus and his disciples were crossing the Sea of Galilee. Suddenly a huge storm broke out, waves crashed against the boat and it started to sink. Jesus just slept, while around him the disciples were terrified of drowning. Teacher, is it nothing to you that we're going down? cried the disciples. Jesus woke up and told the wind and the waves to settle down. The wind ran out of breath and the sea was soon as smooth as glass. Jesus asked, why were you so frightened? Did you have no faith? The amazed disciples asked, who is this man? The wind and the waves obey him. This was just one of the miracles that Jesus performed. Those who followed him soon realised that Jesus was truly the Son of God. Okay, so we've read the story, Jesus Calms the Storm, and we're going to have a go at a craft. Now, art and technology and crafts aren't really my strong points and I'm sure that you'll do mu a much better job than I will, but we'll give it a go, okay? So, this is the picture of the boat that you can get, um, you can ask your parents to print off, okay? Now, what you've got to make sure is that you cut it out really, really carefully on the solid lines. And then you've got to fold it perfectly. And again, it's a tricky one. So you might need your parents to help you out a little bit there. So fold it really carefully. And then where the flaps are numbered, one, two, three, etc. That's where you glue and you stick it together. Okay, so it should look something like this when you finished it, okay? It is a bit fiddly and it does say that it's supposed to be on A3 paper, which is double this size, but I haven't got any A3 paper and I wouldn't think you would have either. So that's what it should look like, something like that. Okay, and then, that there is a cone person to make, okay, of Jesus, and there are all of his disciples as well. Now, it might be a bit much to, to do all of the characters, so for now, we're just going to do Jesus, and then obviously, it's up to, to you. If your parents print them all off for you, it's up to you how many you would like to make. So again, with this the cone people, I'm doing Jesus. You've got to cut out really carefully. This is a lot simpler than making the boat. Put it out really, really carefully along the black line. Okay, make sure you use your scissors really smoothly. Okay, so keep your eyes on it like I am. Otherwise, we might chop a foot off or something else off the character. And we don't want that, so just be really careful, okay? Cut all the way around the outside. Now, don't cut along these bits because those are the flaps, okay? So those bit, that bit, well, there's only one actually. You need to just fold it like that, okay, nice, 
nice fold and then glue along that line on that flap bend it round hold it kind up the edges hold it really tight and there we go there's jesus as a kind person okay like i said you've got all the other characters if your parents print off the activity sheets okay so we've got the boat we've got jesus and then also you can print off the stormy sea and you can print off the calm sea and then you will be able to tell the story that's found in the bible in mark 4 yourself okay if obviously you're a bit older and you think oh well that's that's a bit childish for me that's a bit babyish there's also going to be a sheet that looks like this and the younger children you might want to do this too and it's asking you about how you would have felt if you were a disciple inside the boat it says that you can doodle your facial expressions or create your own word art to show your feelings now i think if i was in that boat and the storm was raging like it was i think my facial expression would have been i don't know about you but it would have been scary and i want you to think about when you're scared who do you ask for help and what helps you feel better when you're scared now you might go to your mum, you might go to your dad, you might go to your nanny and granddad, somebody who would help you to feel better when you're scared. But you know what? Yes, you can go to your family, but you can also go to God. So in scary times when you're a bit frightened or worried about something, you can talk to God about it, pray about it and ask God to help you. There's a prayer okay that we can say and you can say whatever you want to to god and he will help you to feel better but the prayer on here says god help me to be brave and trust in you so that i can see amazing things happen and do you know what children it's not just you that can pray that prayer we can all pray that prayer for god to help us to be brave in situations that we find scary and to trust in him because you know what God is the best place to take your worries to the best person to ask for help when you feel scared so I hope you've enjoyed today's story listening to today's story and I hope you get on okay with your craft activity if you choose to do it or writing how you might feel in scary times on your sheet thanks for listening everyone and maybe i'll see you again in another session bye